Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Maxim Integrated. In a previous video, I discussed how you can add wireless data transmission to any project by just adding an RF transmitter. Today, I wanted to discuss a few different ways how you can add signal integrity just by adding some error correcting code. Error correcting code, or ECC, is a defense mechanism for bit flips. Put simply, bit flips are just ones turning to zeros or zeros turning to ones during the transmission process. These bit flips can be costly, especially when you're dealing with things like medical, automotive, or security devices where there's absolutely no room for error. You will commonly see error correcting code added to memory management controllers, where you want to ensure the data being read is accurate, as well as in applications like wireless data transmission, because sometimes requesting a retransmission can be costly or even impossible. The first, and by far simplest, error correction scheme is repetition code. And as the name suggests, repetition code is essentially just sending the same transmission multiple times. Instead of sending just one or zero, the transmitter will actually send three or more ones and zeros. So a one turns into a one, 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 and a zero turns into a zero, zero, zero. Environmental factors such as heat, humidity, or electromagnetic interference may still tamper with the message and cause bit flips, but now we have a built-in mechanism to help repair some of those errors. If one of the three bits gets flipped during the transmission, the receiver will just take the majority bit. So, if the original value is 1, but during the transmission the second bit gets flipped to a 0, the receiver will take the majority, in this case 1, and correct that error. You won't see problems introduced until you have two bit flips in one transition, so the original value of 1 could now be read as a 0. In most cases, bit flips should be rare, so if you see multiple bit flips during these transmissions, you may want to redesign your setup. With our initial ECC setup, we use three transmission bits in order to account for one bit of valid data. This allows us to correct up to one bit flip made during the transmission process. That comes out to an efficiency of 1 over 3, or about 33%. If we want to increase that efficiency, we have to find a scheme that still allows us to make an error correction for one bit, but also allows us to send more valid data bits with less transmission bits. Luckily for us, there are some more complex methods that do just that. Another possible ECC would be Hamming code. In Hamming code, we take four data bits at a time and append three parity bits at the end. These parity bits are used to fix any errors that may occur during the transmission process. While you could build a chart for every possible 4-bit value and its parity bits, it's much easier by employing the simple XOR math. Say that the data being sent is 1101. We simply follow these equations to calculate the parity bits, 100 in this case, and then append them onto the end of the message before transmitting. When the message is received, we can confirm that the parity bits are correct by using the same equation as before. Now, Let's say that there was an error during the transmission. By going back to the incorrect parity bit equations, we can see that both of them contain the C bit from the transmission data. That means that the C bit was most likely flipped during the transmission, and we know that we need to change it back to a zero in order to record the intended transmission. The common rule for correcting these errors is that if multiple parity bits are flipped, then you want to check the common data bit used to calculate them. If only one parity bit is flipped, then that was most likely flipped during the transmission process, and you can go ahead and ignore it. By using the Hamming code scheme, we see that for every seven transmission bits, we get four bits of valid data, and we can still fix up to one transmission bit flip. That gives us an efficiency of four over seven, or about 57%, which is a 24% increase from the repetition code. Ultimately, choosing the right error correcting code for your project boils down to the application. If you anticipate a lot of bit flips during the transmission process, or you have a very low tolerance for inaccurate data, then something like repetition code might be the best option. If, for example, you don't anticipate a lot of bit flips during the transmission process, or you do have some tolerance for bit flips on the other end, then a higher efficiency code, such as Hamming code, might be the best practice. That's all for me. Thanks for checking out these design ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something new.